Welcome back, everyone, to what I believe is now episode six of our Let's Play series of Clockwork Empire. It's hard to believe we're on episode six. Now, if you remember from episode five, we're having lots of trouble, or more appropriately, I was having lots, lots of trouble figuring out some things here. We've got nothing happening up here, trying to figure out why those things were not being built in place. We've got cabinets over here that are not being placed. We've got a dead body that's been here forever that has never been buried. So we've got a lot of things going on that I'm not quite able to figure out exactly why it's not happening. Well, I think I may have figured out a few things here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. First, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, yes, my NCO or my, my head uh, uh, army officer it refuses to to intimidate anybody to break up a fight because he's friends with them. Okay, so we'll let that be. And so I'm going to take a little different approach here. I'm going to go ahead and in the overseer homes, let's go ahead and cancel this. It's obvious that they're not going to put these down now. I can't even see the other one. Part of what I don't like about what they've got going on here is there's, I don't know what's going on with these colors, but it makes it very difficult for me to see what I'm doing there. I'm not sure if that works that way for everybody else or if it's just me, but this right here, it looks like a jumbled up mess and I can't tell what's going on here. So that's part of my problem. Then I come over here and I look and I see, wow, this is, there's a lot going on here and I can't tell any of it. But what I think is going on here is, you know, I've been unable to make the booze vat, which I need over here in our public house. Well, I've been unable to do that. And I believe it is in part maybe totally because I think I've got something in the way so they can't get to it. So I'm going to try removing this cabinet. Oh, look, and it's back. Actually, I wish they would just get rid of all the colors and let me see it like this. So I believe it may be because this cabinet is in the way between these two so they don't have an area to stand and work. So they can't stand on this side maybe because of this. So I think it's maybe a placement issue. So we're going to give that a shot. Let's go ahead and get the time sped up here. And with that in mind, let's see. Okay, so we want to make some table and chairs. Okay, again, that's going to go over here in our uh, public area for them to sit and drink at. All right, planks. I think we always want to keep planks at the top. But I'm going to bring this number down a little bit. Okay, so they're working on it. So relations have improved. Again, that really doesn't have anything to do with us right now because we, we're trying to get basic tasks done within the colony. Uh, so, all right, let's see what else we've got. So within the workbench, where can we make our vats? So we're not going to make it there at the carpentry workbench. Uh, in fact, I'm very close to wanting to get rid of the second one right here, or maybe even this one in the corner simply because of its relationship here and maybe the work area. All right, so I believe our guy here just made, yep, he just made our table and chair set, so that's working. Let's see what else we've got. We've got decor that we can work on, practical bed. We don't need a practical bed there for now. I want to see if somebody can make our booze vat. And maybe that's in this area. So let's see, this guy, okay, he's making planks. So now we're bringing in planks here to this workbench. And if I'm correct, then let's see, we're making what? Okay, that's more table and chair sets. Tell you what, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and dismantle a module and let's make it that one. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the corner because I think it's causing issues with our workspace. So we'll see how that works out. All right, back over here, I do want a cabinet and I know we've already got cabinets made so I do want to attempt to put one in here the problem I've got is trying to figure out exactly where I can put one and I think I can put one right there again we're going to find out we're going to see if they actually work on that and if that works out for us all right let's see what we've got going on in here all right so we're brewing let's go ahead and move that up a little bit and the reason I'm going to move that up a little bit and make it more of a priority is because if you look up here to our provisions, it looks like we've got plenty of food going on. So I want to make sure that we've got plenty going on there as well. 
Oh, look, we've got our, there's our vat. And all right, let's see. Please tell me, we got one of our tables and chairs in. We're bringing the vat in and they're working on it. Okay, and we have a vat. Excellent. Now we need to assign an overseer. And let's see what we've got. Whoop. Clicking off the menu will not help me out here. So we've got, let's go ahead and let's see, smithing. Oh, Art of War. Okay, this. All right, so Oris Temper here. We're going to want them to be a new addition to our army here going on soon. He's got carpentry skill, but unfortunately, we don't need another carpenter right now. So you are going to become in charge of the public house. Now, we can always change that later on if we need to, but for now, this is what we've got. And I'm really happy to have uh, somebody else with the Art of War skill because I think that's going to be uh, a great thing going forward. All right, let's take a look and see. Okay, we've got no workers that are unassigned, but we do have room for one more labor and one more overseer. And finally, as you can see, we're, we're down to only needing one remaining table and chair. Here comes the booze. And excellent. So now we've got, we've got inventory. So now we've got no more warnings. Our booze is flowing. And that's what I wanted to see. So I really wish the game would have given me some way of knowing that there was a problem and how to solve the problem rather than just telling me, oh, by the way, we're, you know, nothing's going to happen. But we'll deal with that as we can. I still see that nothing is happening here, uh, which is not good. We're going to leave that be for right now. Still got a dead body that hasn't been uh, buried. So we're working on booze. We're working on, let's see, up to 35 there. And so I think provision-wise, we're doing great. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and build another foreign outreach. We want a barracks. And from what I've seen, we're going to need room in the barracks eventually because we're going to want to upgrade our weapons. But for right now, I don't really have a use. Let's see. We're going to back this up, and I'm going to make this barracks about this big, 4 by 5 Let's go ahead and make it a 5 by 5 Again, I have no idea how big we're ultimately going to need this to be. But from what I can tell, it looks like it's ultimately going to need to have maybe one module in here. You can see there's room for, I think each one of these, if we're going to use these particular items, has a cabinet that needs to be put in. So if that's you know a locker that they're calling it, which is perfectly fine, and hopefully that works out for us. So I'm thrilled that we've got that going on. Um, oh, I did want to make some spice racks to go in here. You can see negative four on the building quality there. And we're probably maxed out for what we're going to do in this particular kitchen. Uh, looks like our traders aren't coming in due to attacks. That's not surprising. And what we're going to want to do is, let's see, our decor. For a kitchen, they want, where are they at? Spice racks, which I don't see under this. Maybe it's under the workbench. And there it is, spice rack. So let's go ahead and make three of these. And we're fighting, oh goodness, here we go. Wow. Okay, so we had some of the obeliskians, however you want to say that, but basically they look like obelisks. So there was one around town, not sure where he came from, but we need to get rid of that. So we need to clear the terrain. We need to go ahead and, and have them take care of that. So now it cleared up some more room because it got rid of whatever was stored here. That's not good, but so be it. We'll deal with that. All right, so in here, we're going to want to place some spice racks. Again, they're going to take up area on the floor, but that's okay. You know, we're at a point now where we want to try to get things at the very minimum. Let's see. Looks like we're not taking up any floor space there. We're going to put a couple here and a couple there, and I think we're okay. Uh, as you can see, this glowing area over here, this is where they they stand to use the vat, as you can see the, the worker doing now. And I don't think we're going to 
if we place four of these racks, I don't think that's going to interrupt anything we're doing. So let's go ahead and make that four racks. Oh, the first one just went in. And looks like we are probably running low here. Oh, do we need any more table sets? We actually need one more. Okay, so we do need that one. Let's move carpentry workbench. We want our planks. I'm not sure how we got rid of that order. I'm sure I did at some point. And we're going to have them work on 15 at all times. Next thing on the list is, whoops, turn that back off. Logs 33. Okay, so we're good on logs right now. Uh, but we'll need to take care of that soon. Oh, looks like we're ready for an overseer here. And we did notice that the war of, the Art of War skill, there you go. So now we have somebody here. We're going to really want to upgrade. Uh, the reason I've not upgraded our weapons yet is because I don't have any ability to make ammo, or at least I haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, I could make that in here in the ceramics workshop, but with everything else going on and trying to figure all this out, I've held off on that for now. All right, let's see what we've got. Do we have any unassigned workers? Because I'd like to go ahead and fill up our second barracks. And let's see what we've got here. Anybody? Oh, this guy is doing nothing and has three workers assigned to him. Now, I'm not going to fill up this barracks just yet, but I am going to put two in here. And you have no assignment just yet, so we'll assign that one to you. Because we don't want to have any unassigned workers, because I believe unassigned workers do nothing. They're simply idle all the time, and it hurts their happiness, I believe. So, what have we got going on over here? We still got that. Food is good. Disturbance, we have a high disturbance. So, at some point, we're going to get attacked again. Uh, I would be shocked if we didn't. But for now, food production looks good. Looks like things are more or less going pretty good with uh, our worker happiness. So this module here looks like it's just not going to be built. So we'll have to figure out something else for that. Let's try a different placement. Maybe and see if that will work. What if I put it over here in the very corner? Kind of out of the way, I would think. So, oh, unfortunately, though, it looks like they're not going to be able to get to it. Okay, so let's... Trying to work through all of this is not the easiest thing, but I'm not sure. You know, if I put this cabinet right here, what all does that block? Okay, so we're going... We're going to forget about that for now. They're just not going to have any decorations in that particular building for now. We'll see. We'll come back to it a little bit later and see how that works. All right. So we're doing good. We've got our barracks up and running. We've got our new overseer in here. And she's got two in here. So we have one barracks down here, which is full. Full meaning we have uh, four soldiers and an overseer in there. So we've got a lot going on. Hopefully that will be sufficient for now. We've got a huge beetle-like creature that they've killed down here, looks like. Okay, let's take a look. How many overseers do we have with no assignment? There's one and two with no assignment, which would match up with the number we're seeing down here. Number of overseers not assigned, two. And that construct building, I'm not sure where that's actually at right now. Looks like everything's going fairly well. All right, so they're basically idle. Well, whenever they're idle in this game, that is not good. So we're going to send them off to chop some trees. And here we go. Here's an area with some trees. All right. Excellent. So... Nice area over there. I see some, even some more trees that we're not ready to take out. Okay, while these others hopefully are growing back in. All right. So, things are going well there. One thing I do want is an overseer. And this may be my time that I can actually get one because I'm going to want a mine going. Let's get a naturalist. 
think I actually said I needed another overseer. Whoops, let's cancel that. Uh, what I meant was I need a naturalist going here. And we're going to make his four by five. I don't think he really needs much of an office at all. But we're going to give him a little bit of one just in case we need something later on. Okay, so we notice up here, right now it's showing we don't have the ability to add any more jobs. We're going to hopefully get another overseer here pretty soon. Uh, that would be great because if we could get an overseer, that would open some things up. All right, so we what do we need in here? Uh, one module that I know we're going to want in there is, let's see, where is our... Trade, Metalworks, there he is, Naturalist Office. We're going to want a, there it is, the Improvised Musket Locker. We're going to want that in here. And the reason is that will allow this guy to hunt for us when he's not working on uh, finding various mineral deposits for us. It'll allow him to hunt. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to build this. And let's see, where do we need to build this? I believe it's in here. There it is, improvised musket locker. Okay, and with that, they'll get busy building that. They'll place it over here. We've already got people working there. All right, so things are moving right along. Now, another module that I want is in the ceramics workshop. And let's see, I believe it is assembly workbench. And I want it to be, let's see, I want it to be right there because it would back up to our other area, but would it would also at the same time not cut anything off. We got immigrants arriving. We have one overseer and one laborer. Excellent. That's exactly what we needed. Oops, wrong button there. So let's go ahead and have them make that, but we're going to need an assembly workbench, which we know is made over here. All right, so they're working over there. Let's see, an open workbench, I believe. Assembly, there we go. Assembly workbench, so let's go ahead and make that. All right, so you can see we've got our carpenter here. He's making planks. He's taking wood, making them into planks. In that particular area, we got another worker here. He's bringing in wood, and what is he using that for? Let's see. Whoop, we need to slow down time. Let's go ahead and pause that. He's making an assembly workbench. Okay. So he's going to place that down. One of our workers will come and grab that, bring it over here, because this is where we're going to make ammo. Once we get that going, we can upgrade our our army, because if we come back in here and look, right now they're using pistols, which have three damage and 10 range. Not too bad on the reload, takes two seconds, but the biggest thing for us so far, it requires no special ammo. If we come down here, we upgrade to the improvised musket and get four damage and 15 range, a little bit longer reload time, but it takes stone pellet ammo, which we've not been making uh, up to this point, but now, I believe we're going to have the ability to do so because she is now putting into place that workbench. And let's see. Let's take a look in here. And no, this is actually not where we can make it. All right. But I do see later on there's another, there's a locker there for an upgraded pistol. Let's see. Brick. Kiln. Okay, so we're going to need some more things there. Let's see what, see if we can figure out what we're going to need for that. Now is a good a time as any. Okay, so we can create glass there. That's what we would need the extra kiln for. Okay, a ceramics workbench. Ah, I bet that's what it, we need here. Can't believe I didn't see that before. Okay, so we've got, again, I don't want to overlap these workspaces any more than we have to. Okay, so let's put a ceramics workbench there. Spin back around and come back to our carpentry area and ceramics workbench. There we go. Let's have them make that. 
And it looks like most of this is open except for the planks, which we're continually working on. Let's go ahead and increase that number a little bit. All right, so I'm very happy with the way things are going today. Still haven't been able to increase the quality of this particular overseer house. But other than that, things are going well. Uh, let's go ahead and work on, let's go ahead and place that brick kiln here. We need to place it up against the back wall. And as you can see, it actually extends the uh, building out a little bit. We're going to place that because we're going to need that to make glass. Uh, one of the things I want the mine for is to uh, be able to uh, get sand, which we're going to need, because I don't know of any way to get sand out here. I've looked around the edges of the water, and I'm not really seeing any way to get sand. So I'm thinking I can use the mine on a very low-level mine to, or basically like a surface area mine, and, and get some sand, which we can use to make glass. Okay, so now we need to make our kiln. And let's see, bring up the right menu. There we go. So here is where we can make our ceramic kiln. We can have them make that. And that should get our kiln take care, taken care of. And we're still waiting on our ceramics workbench. And for some reason, our military is just running around shooting at who knows what here. What are we shooting at? Oh, a bandit attack. How about that? And the bandits are either running away. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to run away. But our guys are right on top of this. All right. Um, can we please get the bandits? All right. Looks like they're working on it. <laughs> Not quite effectively, but they're working on it. All right, so we've lost a little bit of health there. Uh, another thing we're going to want uh, coming up is, let's see, we're going to need an overseer here. Uh, naturalism, we want porridge to do this. And yeah, he has the three naturalism skill. So we want him to do that. And what we want him to do is we want him to do surveys. Well, for surveys, it says he needs a standing desk. And a standing desk, as most everything is, is made in here in the carpentry area. Standing desk. There we go. So we'll make one of those. And then let's go ahead and fit the naturalist office with a standing desk. Okay, and spin this around right, is that right? It looks like that's actually in the next building. Let's go ahead and put it over here in this corner. Right there will be fine. And for that, uh, what that's going to do for us is he's going to have the ability to travel around. And you can barely see it. It's at nighttime here. But these, these rocks that are sort of glowing... We can get him to do mineral, mineralogy reports here, and that will tell us what minerals are in this area. And then we can build a mine and get busy mining whatever these minerals are, and we can progress through uh, the game and some of the other technology using that method. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Okay, we've got our ceramics workbench up and going here. Let's see what we can make here. There we go. Stone pellet ammo. Let's see what we need for ball cartridge ammo. We need gunpowder. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. So stone pellet ammo. This is where we're going to start using up tons and tons of stone. And we're going to ask, ask them to maintain, let's say about 25, let's call it 30. So we're going to need to make sure we've got plenty of stone because these guys are going to start using it quite a bit. Now, you probably noticed that we also had our new kiln up and going. And we're going to want to make, uh, let's see, we're going to want to make glass panes, it looks like here. And for glass panes, we need sand. Okay, so we're going to have them go ahead and maintain 10 glass panes for now. We don't have a specific reason for them just yet, but we will. All right, we're running a little bit low on time in this particular video. As is usually the case, I've got a lot that I want to get done in this video and a lot I want to show you guys. But 
we don't always have time to get done as much as I would like. So let's see what we're going with here. We've got what we got here. There's our standing desk. It's going to head over here. We've got our overseer. Who is our overseer here? So we've got porridge, and he needs papers in order to do his work. And now I just have to remember where these are made. Are these made here? Yeah, paper stacks. So let's go back over to our naturalist area. And it tells us here he needs a, a standing desk to do that. But then if we come down here and look, we need mineral, uh, mineralogy uh, surveys. And we can also have him hunt. So it looks like we've got 50 stone pellet ammo, which is great. Surveying, we need stacks of paper. And that's what we're going to work on next. So stacks of paper. Uh, this is where that second carpentry workbench would have would come in. We're actually going to have him, we're going to make two right now. And hopefully we've got enough planks to do this. And let's see, planks, we've got 13 planks right now. How many do we need for paper stacks? We need five. So we'll, it'll take up all our planks, looks like doing this. But that will get him ready and actually let's go ahead and get out of that and get over here uh let's see we do have we want him to, to survey and i want him to manually survey oh wow he's got one right here that was very close and what do we want him to manually survey let's pick a couple that are close let's go ahead and pick this one and this one because they're fairly close by and also because I think I can make a mine right here. I believe you need to put the mines uh, within something along the lines of about 10 to 12, somewhere in that range uh, squares from your actual survey point. But again, we'll see how that goes as we move forward. Okay, so it looks like stacks of paper. That's complete. The naturalist needs paper. Well, he's going to have it. Let's go ahead and reload this. Okay, it doesn't show the paper over here just yet. All right, and with that done, I actually want to do something else. Let's get back to making planks for one thing. And I want to add another improvised musket locker because I'm going to add one of these. I'm going to add this, rather, to one of our uh, soldiers. We're going to add it to the barracks so that these soldiers, at least portion of our soldiers, can can start using uh, this type of ammo and have a, a different type of gun with a little bit more range and a little bit more firepower, which will be this. So it'll use stone pellet ammo, and we'll get an idea of, of how much ammo is used and how quickly they go through it. Uh, that's my biggest fear here is that we won't be able to produce enough ammo to keep up with the demand. Okay, let's go ahead and assign some more rocks to be mined on the surface. And that way, hopefully we won't run out of supplies. And so stone right now, we got 28, 10 planks. All right, let's see if this guy's gotten any paper yet. He does not at this point in time. Not sure why that is. Are we not making the paper just yet? Let's see. Do we have a stack of paper? He got one. So maybe he just hasn't got it yet. Oh, there it is. It was just delivered. So now he's got, wow, that is a ton. So he uses five per ore beacon. Okay, so we've got, he's going to have plenty to last him quite a while. So my plan for him is I want the naturalist to do a, a few surveys. Now that I see that he has that, let's go ahead and, and get a few more of these that are close by. Don't want to get too far away. Okay, I think that's that's good enough for now. 
so we can get some mines going. And then I'm going to turn him loose hunting, probably some as well, and then maybe just let him do some exploring. All right, so he's he's busy. All right, so relations have improved. Not sure how that affects us right now. We got a, a fish person here that is looks like trying to intimidate our guy, but it's just not working. All right, so where is he? We need him to work here. And it looks like there. So unassigned. All right, so he'll get to he'll get busy working on that. All right, I think we're going to call it an episode here. Uh, really appreciate you guys joining me along for the journey on episode six of our Let's Play series of Clockwork Empires.